Have you ever seen a dog who will shake or high five on command? Want to learn how to teach your dog? Leighton Ustazen from Partners Dog Training says it's not a hard process. It just takes persistence. So today we're going to take a look at how to channel this energy into something that's good and that's positive and specifically how to teach our dogs how to shake and then transfer that into a high five. It's really important to teach these types of tricks to your dogs because not only does it improve the bonding in your animal, but it also builds the, the appreciation in your dog for working for you and it shows them that if they do something for you, they get something in reward. So we're gonna start off today with our food. We actually have two different treats that we're working on with today. This is actually his normal food. This is uh, from, uh, it's what he fed, gets fed normally. And then we have a much higher value reward, which is a treat like that. And then of course, our toy that we're gonna use to end the exercise at the end. Now Karnak has a couple of things that we're working on. The first thing is that he's very aggressive when he takes the, the, the food or the treat. So there's a technique that we use where we close our hands and we offer it to the dog and only when they settle and they take it gently do we offer it to them. All right, so now we're gonna work on the first step. And I purposely got him this morning because he hasn't learned how to do a shake. So I'm using this for the first time to kind of introduce that shake to him. All right, you ready? I'm gonna hold the treat in my one hand and I'm gonna try and get him. And you see he's tracking the other hand. He thinks there's a reward in there. I'm gonna bring him up into sit. I see, come here, come here. Good. And as soon as I touch his paw, I'm gonna say yes. And I'm gonna pay him with his treat. Once you've been practicing that for a while, you'll find your dog will happily lift their paw in exchange for the treat. This is Sarah working with her dog, Maddie. And Maddie is interesting because he's not a very high drive dog, but he's very food motivated, so easy to train in that regard. Once you've got him lifting his left paw, we use the command other paw to make him lift his right paw. And later on, we're going to bridge those two things together. Once we have the other hand command, we start working on our high five or a touch command. It's very easy to transition from a handshake to a high five. You just put your hand up, dog touches your hand, and you pay your dog. Once you've got that established, then we can bridge all three of them together. Go handshake, other paw, and high five all at the same time, and you have a great sequence of training for your dog. So remember, when we're training, we want to break our trick training down into baby steps. That's the most successful way to train. Most of all, just remember it takes patience. You saw how I was struggling with Karnak to get him to understand it in the beginning, and then obviously you saw later on with Sarah and her dog how easy the dog was able to do that. It just takes time. Be patient, be persistent. Most of all, have fun with your dogs out there. So fun, such a cute trick. For more information on Partners Dog Training or to watch this video again, just head to evblive.12news.com.